皆さんこんにちは、ハルキです。今回はですね、スペシャルゲスト、カジさんに来ていただいてます。どうも皆さんこんにちは、カジシオンです。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。どうやって紹介するのがいいですかね。いやもうあのー、世界一のトップユーチューバーのお父さんです。はい、<笑>そうです。三十五ミリオン登録者がいて、そうですね。ね僕の僕ちょうど今三百フィフティ。サウダンドなんで、10倍いやー100倍 You're talking to me like I understand <笑><笑><笑> So, wait, mine's a 35 million、uh, subscribers and, oh, oh, sorry, I'll follow up 350,000 もう100 times more Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot more kids, and then you know, all the kids they, they really care about the、uh, you know, fun activities and, and opening toys and、yeah. those kind of things.、Mm-hmm. It's a small niche, but there are a lot of kids around the world, so、mm-hmm. it was easier to accumulate the,、uh, the subscribers. YouTube is the future, too. Like、yeah. that, that is what kids watch nowadays rather than regular TV. And we were actually lucky、uh, in the beginning when we started our YouTube channel. Actually, that's when a lot of countries started having a smartphone. And、wow. having a, a YouTube on their app, and、uh, parents start、um, sharing the, their phone to the kid. And that's how a lot of viewership came from、uh, from India and the other、uh, Southeast Asia.、Oh, so、wow. you guys were just on time. Yeah, the timing was also like the biggest component. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How old was Ryan when? He was three years old. Wow. Yeah. Surprisingly,、like, he was very vocal at that time. Yeah.、Oh. For three years old, he was able to explain a lot of things. He's very、yeah. articulate, too. I think that was also a big component,、oh, yeah. too, that、okay. he was able to exp- express、Very、himself.、Smart. I think we're going to be making baby tomorrow. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Should I be on that side? <laughs> Put you guys in here?、Uh, obviously, we do YouTube,、uh-huh. and if we were to bring our kids in this world, What's the relationships between kids and social media? We also want to live in Hawaii, raise kids there. We haven't、mm-hmm. decided yet, and we don't know when we're gonna have a kid yet. But I think、uh, from your experience, we can talk a lot and we can learn a lot about raising kids in relation to YouTube and social media and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna talk about. We have also、uh, a kid up today. So we're gonna be speaking English as well. Before jumping into how your channel started,、mm-hmm. I also wanna ask you about we were born in Japan、mm-hmm. and went to school, high school there.、Uh, I actually、uh, went to up to middle school in Japan and then I moved to US with my parents. Where in Japan?、Uh, Fukushima. So it's、uh, about three hours, four hours train ride from、uh, Tokyo. When you were 15, you moved to what state? Texas. Texas.、Okay. So, yeah, so I moved to te-、uh, Austin, Texas. It's tough because I didn't really speak English at that time. And、um, right away, I had to study for SAT.、Oh. I had to learn US history, which I had no background、uh, knowledge of the US history. Yeah, and yeah. I, I might still not know <laughs> exactly who was the、uh, which president. <laughs> I don't know the old way. You、okay. <laughs> also went to、uh, college here. Right.、University. Yeah, I went to、uh, Texas Tech University for undergrad. And that's where I met my wife.、Oh. Yeah, I met her when I was 20. Yeah, right when I was、uh, turning 21, and that's when I met her. And after that, I graduated and went to Cornell, which is the upstate New York、yeah. area. What did you study?、Uh, undergrad, I studied structural engineering. So,、oh. designing buildings like this. For the graduate school, I studied transportation system engineering. Oh, I never heard of. <laughs> that's really interesting because I'm from upstate New York. Oh, yeah?、Mm. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a lot different from Texas because、oh, yeah. everything I knew about US was、yeah. just Texas. <laughs> and when I came to <laughs> New York, everything was different. People are different too. Right. I, just, I, I was always just comparing people with、uh, Texas and then I felt like it was a little bit, I wouldn't say colder here, but I, a, pe- a lot of people are,、um, don't talk to each other as much as、uh, people in Texas.、Mm-hmm. So that's, that was shocking to me when I first moved to New York.、Yeah. I was in Tennessee for six months、mm-hmm. for Saturday. I went to language school. I definitely get that vibe. <laughs> like, even when I was walking on the street, it was raining、uh-huh. and people offered me for a ride.、Uh-huh. I can take you to, to <laughs> home. I was like, never ever happened in New York. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I met my wife while I was in college and I was 21. And then a year after, you know, she got pregnant and we had Ryan. Oh, yeah. Ryan. So it was、uh, all kind of express way after that point. But, yeah, so yeah, I, we had Ryan really young. Wow. We were still student and、uh, wow. So you were raising kids while you were studying and working at the same time? Yeah, when I was in the class, I got a text message from Loan, my wife, and saying, Text? Hey, yeah, hey, I got pregnant. <laughs> I would expect a call. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it would be a call too, but <laughs> it was a text message first. And I, didn't, I didn't know how to process it, so I got up, 
during the class and then just start running in the campus. Oh. <laughs> Professor, I have a kid! Because the day before that, I got the accept, ac acceptance letter from the Cornell for the oh, graduate school wow. program. So I was like, oh no, the two news <laughs> I have to deliver to my parents. <laughs> and it was a really tough first year because uh, Lauren had to deliver Ryan by herself because I was in New York and I couldn't make it back to Texas when she was delivering the baby. Yeah, I missed the first, uh, first couple months of the uh, Ryan's oh. yeah, when he was baby. I wish I was there. But luckily, uh, Emma and Kate are twin daughters. So we were, I was able to be there. So you have twins? I have twin daughters wow. too now. Yeah. Wow. When do you think Ryan started to realize the extent of how YouTube was taken off? Like what age? Um, I think he realized it through the, a lot of people recognizing him mm -hmm. on the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that was pretty early on. I think yeah. I'd say after first year. Oh wow. Yeah. So very, very early. And, you know, he never experienced the, uh, the life before YouTube. Mm -hmm. So True. to him, oh, it's right, normal. Right. normal. Yeah. And, and at the time he liked it because he feel like he was able to make friends right away. Yeah. He doesn't have to introduce himself. Like, yeah. They know True. me already. Aww. So yeah. So he liked it. Right now he's going to middle school and I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. Because middle school is it's a bit different. You know, yeah. kids are sometimes brutal and mm -hmm. sometimes uh, you know he's going through the phase too body change and yeah. men mental change too. So mm -hmm. part of the reason why we moved to Hawaii was because I wanted to find a place that Ryan could feel safe, yeah. like the community yeah. mm -hmm. and the environment that he feels safe, but then I have to find it before he gets to middle school. Yeah. Oh. That's why two years ago I was looking mm -hmm. uh, all different places yeah. where it would be a good place for him to to grow up, because yeah. after that point, I don't want to move. That's why, right. you know, now we moved to Hawaii, we're going to stay there until they graduate from high school. A smart move. Yeah. That's like one of the reasons why we want to raise our kids in Hawaii is because there's more of a Japanese community there too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rather than like anywhere in the States, I mean other than California, there's not really much of a Japanese community. True, even New York, right? I, I don't see much communities here. I guess here. it depends on where you go, oh. but it's nowhere near compared to Hawaii, and at least Hawaii yeah. is in the middle of Japan and the United States. Yeah. So. I feel like New York is too spread, spread out. Um, I know there are a lot of Japanese living here, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they don't really connect. I think they are starting to connect, mm -hmm. yeah. but definitely Hawaii and LA are more uh, together, I feel like. And also, we value nature a lot. Yeah. yeah. And when I, when I went to Hawaii, kids just <laughs> running around with bare fat, being in touch with nature, that's, that's what I like mm -hmm. to see. You know, first stop, uh, when we were looking around the all different places, California and, and different cities in Texas, but when we went to Hawaii, we just fall in love right away mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and start looking for a house just during that trip already. Wow. <laughs> and it was during the COVID time too, so kids couldn't go to school. They do uh, virtual classes uh, yeah. at home. You know, if it's Hawaii, then at least maybe there's a backyard and outside it's not as hot as Houston, lots of nature. So I thought even if, you know, the COVID stays and, and the, our life changes, yeah. I think if we move to Hawaii, it would be still a better lifestyle for them. Mm -hmm. so, that was another reason too. So. I'm glad that we made that choice. Yeah. yeah. We love it. It's the awesome. weather there is the best. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> please, yeah. Eventually. I need more friends in Hawaii, yeah. please. Yeah. Please move. That's the plan. <laughs> so how did the uh, Ryan's Ward st like start it? So uh, Ryan loved watching uh, kids' YouTube channels, reviewing toys, okay. unboxing toys. And back back then, unboxing was like one of the biggest topics. Yeah. Ryan loved it too, seeing other kids opening. Sometimes even grown up open toys, Ryan still likes watching oh. those. And one day he told us he wants to start his own channel. Aww. Wow. Yeah. So it was his choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aww. That's kind of like how I want our kids, uh -huh. like if they want to do it, yeah. that's kind of my vision for it. Should I put them on camera? before they're without, able to say. Yeah, without without you know, aware, huh? Because yeah. I know some people blur out their kids' faces and stuff, yeah. which is like, you know, I guess it's different people's perspectives and stuff, but I mean, I'd love to have my kid on YouTube. I just, yeah, yeah. you know. Because <laughs> uh, one thing that's difficult is good. you guys continue to film content yeah. and then the, the kids, baby, the baby's back. gonna feel like they left out. Yeah. Right? Uh, a lot of the fun experience is through maybe filming stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you guys, so if you exclude your kid, Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I feel that way too. Uh, sometimes I have to do like kind of back end stuff and then I cannot be on the camera. <laughs> and I see them filming without me and I'm like, oh, I wish I was there too. Right, Aww. right. <laughs> and especially each kid is different. So I think the parents could make a right judgment. I don't think there is any wrong um, answer. Like, I, I don't think it's a one way is, is uh, right and the right. other one's wrong. I think it's all depends on the kid. I was thinking about uh, if we were to raise our kid in Tokyo, Mm -hmm. I don't think I feel comfortable bringing them. No. Yeah, 
I, I don't no. I don't feel comfortable either. So many rules, right? In in Tokyo, yeah. like, even yeah. for little kids. I saw um, a news recently. One of the family YouTubers. I think they're. Um, Yes, yes, they're, they're on the backlash that, yeah. right now, yeah, because the uh, I think their child was misbehaving at yeah. the uh, restaurant and when they're filming. Yeah. And it was like a couple years ago that yeah. the video was published, like two, three years ago, and people now finding out because there was something like that happened in a couple months ago. Oh. But it was only two years old, so it's not like he was trying only to. Two. Yeah, he wasn't he really trying to make better. it. Yeah, yeah. No. it was a really innocent mistake, but it was on the camera and. A lot of people say, "Oh, the parents not really um, putting, uh, giving them a, um, a um, guidance, or, or they don't give enough attention to the kid. That's why kids are doing this instead of um, taking care of kids. They're filming. So um, I, sometimes it's hard because we gone through that too, yeah. right? There, every now and then there is mistakes when you right. film videos, and every time there's a mistake associated with the kids, you get a lot of backlash. Yeah. yeah. Um, sometimes it's just advice. That, you know, other parents yeah. want to give you advice, but a lot of times it's very invasive and, yeah. and, and, and trying to uh, to hurt you emotionally. Yeah. So that's another thing too. Not yeah. only for kids, but for your sanity right. too. Like yeah. you have to think about that too. Because yeah. yeah. as a parent, getting you know people uh, people telling you like you're doing wrong on parenting is the uh, most painful comments, right? The parents imagine. could get. Yeah. So. yeah, because like you never experience being parents so like right. what is right and also like these things happen with almost every kid in everyday life the yeah. only difference is it's being filmed yeah so that's why people feel the need to say their opinions on it yeah otherwise if you were just at a restaurant and you saw that happening no one would say anything yeah. Yeah. they might think something but they're not gonna say their opinion or tell you mm -hmm. you're not doing good or anything like that they're just gonna go on about their day yeah. and mm -hmm. act like it never happened I think you have to be extra careful when you edit mm -hmm. and, and publish the video yeah. with the kids so that's yeah. something that we always do is we have multiple layers of uh, quality assurance check oh, yeah. not great. just the mistakes but also am I portraying Ryan in a way that's presentable and where he wouldn't feel embarrassed in the future. Right. Because you may th think it's okay, but then other person's point of view, it might be. Right. When you say you decide to raise him in Hawaii, it's like a great choice because like I would feel a lot mm -hmm. safer raising our kid in countryside or yeah. somewhere that is mm -hmm. more of like not city city, not a lot of people around him or like, you know. Mm -hmm. um, are a horror. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you act like we're having a boy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know yet. Yeah. You know, I was nervous first uh, going to Hawaii. Uh, one for kids and, and other for uh, for Loa and my wife too because a lot of Japanese culture and mm -hmm. my wife, she really hasn't been to Japan that often. Mm. You know, she's been only like twice or three times only. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't sure how she would react to Japanese culture, but she actually loved it. Yeah. She likes Japanese food. And yeah. She okay. wants to learn Japanese. And mm -hmm. She started and she's learning slowly, but mm -hmm. she's learning mainly food. She loves food. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is also overlapping. We are international uh, yeah. couple and you are too. Mm -hmm. In Hawaii, uh, our, my, our parents can also visit and see. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. We have to find the middle happy point. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was thinking like it's right in the middle between the U.S. and Japan. Like yeah. both of our families can come if they want to. Yeah, That's yeah. true. And your parents uh, live in New York too? Yeah. Ah, we are actually uh, have the uh, 10 year anniversary um, this year with my wife. Oh nice. And wow. we're trying to renew a vow. So we're gonna redo the, the whole wedding oh, in wow. Hawaii. Oh cool. And uh, cool. yeah, like you mentioned, the Hawaii was perfect location wise because mm -hmm. my, my side of families could visit from Japan. Yeah. And I mean that's in Hawaii and my wife's side from Houston, they can come too. Yeah. Kind of going back, but uh, when, when we had a uh, wedding, <laughs> everything was handmade, and we were only we, we were students, so mm -hmm. we didn't have money to too much money to to do the wedding. So we put the curtain right in the middle of the restaurant because we couldn't book oh. the entire restaurant, only half. <laughs> <laughs> so we put the curtain down, oh. and uh, but it was still really memorable. But it wasn't really the way my wife wanted yeah. her <laughs> wedding. <laughs> I'm sure if, if the budget was higher, then I'm sure that you know they, they're more. Things she wanted. So. Exactly. Sounds like you're talking about us. Oh, really? I know. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. How was your wedding? Are you guys. It, uh... it was good. It was good. It yeah. was in a courthouse, though. Oh, okay. Very similar. Yeah. <laughs> With bunch I of friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's good. We are planning to have like a different wedding, but I think 
I kind of want our kids to be in the yeah, wedding. That's what we're talking about. So Ryan was at our wedding too. Nice. Oh, yeah. Because uh, Ryan was one or two years old when we got mm -hmm. married. I wanted to start working and pay for our own wedding. Yeah. So we waited uh, two years. I love the idea of kids involved in wedding. It's like family <laughs> event and party. And we also don't have any flower girls. Yeah, we don't have a flower girl, so we gotta <laughs> oh, wait. <yeah. laughs> I was the flower girl at my parents' wedding. Oh, and, nice. Yeah, funny little story. I uh, taped over their whole wedding video when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> no! It, it was, was it the only copy? Yeah. Oh. Do, you, do you know the show Jojo Circus? Uh -uh, no. So it's a show with like this clown. It's oh like a cartoon. God. And I was like, Mom, I recorded Jojo Circus. And she's just crying. Oh, and I'm like, I, I didn't understand what I did at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, so proud. V yeah, it was a VHS tape. But it's okay. They got over it. <laughs> Maybe they can just renew it. They're not they together anymore. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no. <laughs> Uh, never mind. <laughs> Bad advice. <laughs> Just doing the uh, the video with the kids is really fun. Yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. I've been enjoying it. Lots of travel as a yeah. family too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we can still make content through travel. And it's not invasive where like we yeah. feel like we have to always stop and film, stop and film. We just film yeah, a little naturally. bit for five, ten minutes and then yeah. go to the next spot. So yeah. it's a really fun experience for us. Yeah. But yeah, the backlash to the parents is always just something I'm very concerned for the other creators yeah. too. So when we started, not many people knew that there is a big massive market for kids viewers right at that time because we were first who break up big mm -hmm. and it was kids youtubers so a lot of existing youtubers started giving us a backlash oh they're view buying they're buying the views yeah. uh, and also we are forcing ryan mm -hmm. um, filming mm -hmm. so we got the backlash um pick uh, pewdiepie actually made the uh, video yeah. about us we're forcing ryan or he's like analyzing ryan's facial expression in the video it's like, oh he feels like he yeah. was forced that that's why uh that's we had that yeah. yeah that's tough <laughs> it's funny like how much difference just one video mm -hmm. would make because he made that video published it i didn't even know that you know he posted it right away on that day i still getting lots of emails yeah. right uh, and also our uh, videos too a lot of people putting the thumbs down or doing some stuff right. into the uh, yeah. spamming our channels too so it was a little bit scary because just amount of people just yeah. flowing in that we were only used to just handling with the uh, kids and yeah. doing the joyful stuff and right. then start getting these kind of comments so it was a really a surprise yeah. to me recently I when I went to Japan I actually encountered PewDiePie yes I, the, I saw that yeah, picture <laughs> at the airport and uh, we talked a little bit and then and I think we in a good term now Aww. so yeah so if you guys just happened to be there and yeah yeah wow. yeah I was just walking and I just noticed him walking that's by crazy wow. <laughs> you two need to meet right now <laughs> right, <folk. laughs> after over time he realized you know the, yeah. how the, the, kid, the family I can't even imagine like the biggest youtuber talking about oh, like yeah. analyzing it like little by little that this is, is that this is that this is that I would see the pattern those people who does you know commenting like a negative thing mm -hmm. on yeah. other creators exposing them mm -hmm. yeah it it comes around and goes back to them oh yeah right yeah. it's all energy yeah, yeah. so it's like a one or two year cycle and i would mm -hmm. see the new person comes up and then attack yeah. the existing yeah. one then yeah. the new mm -hmm. the new ones attack yeah. that person so it's a vicious cycle yeah i understand that's yeah. their content but i i hate it i think a lot of the times hate comments in general are just a projection projection mm -hmm. of like what other people are feeling about themselves no, so no, no, I, ten point. I yeah. tend to think about it of like they're saying that about themselves mm -hmm. and when I look at it that way I'm like that's actually really sad yeah. because that actually that's kind of how people work mm -hmm. is when they say something negative or something like that mm -hmm. they tend to internalize it themselves and mm -hmm. project it onto other people right. because they are insecure about something yeah. so 100%. I think it's all a way like everything is just about perspective too. Mm -hmm. And it is hard when you're getting like an influx of comments like that. I can't even imagine. Yeah. But over time, we learn to kind of filter it men mentally. We filter <laughs> those comments. Yeah. yeah. So I don't feel too much. Do you uh, about words? No, no, just like <laughs> mental filtering. <laughs> we we blocked words. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We don't uh, get any hate anymore. <laughs> when she went to Japan, uh -huh. she tried different Japanese food. Oh. But oh, that's, that's not that's not how she <laughs> type of the food she was yeah. eating yeah. was totally different. I don't and eat seafood. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. And in she, general, like cooked or uncooked. Yeah. Oh, I see. She just react 
as her natural reaction mm -hmm. and people were just hating on her mm -hmm. and I was like why <laughs> because like it's a whole true reaction and some people are talking about me like why did you bring to a place like that you should bring to some other place that is more uh, Americanized or like some, some food that is uh, easier for her to eat because I brought her to Kyoto and like the course menu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, course <laughs> menu. Tried to yeah. get me to eat a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much a snapping turtle, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't want to. Even eat. for Japanese people, it's a uh, more acquired. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Previously, okay. we went to a bunch of restaurants, but we didn't film. Uh -huh. And then we filmed Kyoto really we are, like a lot of people are hating on it. There's uh, also a lot of hate with like body shaming too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, cause it's so different from here. Like I grew up with my grandparents always uh -huh. telling me like, oh you're so skinny, you need to eat something. Blah, blah, blah. In Japan, that is not how they think. Oh really? All. It's like Oh my gosh. Like I was just getting called fat left and right. And what? I'm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just sitting there like, mm -hmm. okay. So I'm kind of <laughs> conflicted with my emotions. Do you feel like uh like the, the way the audience interact with you is different between US and, and Japan? That's one of the things. A lot. Things. Very, very much so. I think from my experience, I'm speaking from my experience, yeah, yeah. is that Japanese comments tend to really go in on your personality a lot more oh, okay. and really like write paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs mm. um, at least from our perspective your perspective might be a little different yeah, yeah. But no I never got the comments from Japan so that's why oh, I was like, curious yeah yeah, yeah. yeah Interesting. So, but huh? US comments like or comments that are just in English they're pretty like surface level I would say uh -huh. very yeah. like oh you're this you're that and like that I can take. Yeah, but, that's like, not the, hurtful. Yeah, the, the Japanese comments sometimes they just they think they know you. <laughs> <laughs> they, they go deep. Like <laughs> they go <laughs> really, really, really deep. <laughs> <laughs> like they find out a bunch of information about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just it's it's interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every now and then, um, yeah, we notice the difference because we go to Japan and then film some contents too. Mm -hmm. And then I guess uh, because our kids uh, they grew up in the U.S., so they mm -hmm. their behavior sometimes it's it's not appropriate in Japan and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you not you shouldn't touch the uh, the product if you're not buying it really yeah yeah yeah, yeah. in a video really yeah. I didn't know that yeah wow it's like depend on what kind of products but okay. um, that's mana we have mana yeah. Okay. yeah so those little things it's hard to notice yeah. but yeah when you're yeah. there it, yeah it's you notice that afterwards okay. but yeah um, th throughout the uh, trip Moen loved Japan and, yep. uh, nice. and Ryan too how long were you there for um, last time we were there two weeks. Oh, oh no, three weeks. So we have the uh, theme uh, this upcoming summer. We are launching new Ryan's World product. That's mm -hmm. a ninja theme, ninja wow. and samurai theme. That's cool. So That's we're like, exciting. Yeah. So we're like, okay, let's film the yeah. ninja video, samurai video in Japan. Mm -hmm. So we went to the studio, like yeah, Universal Studio, but there is a stu another studio in Kyoto. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's called Uzumasa. Mura, and they do all the uh, samurai theme mm -hmm. movies. So they have a set like it looks oh, like wow. it's a uh, Japan from yeah. 500 years ago. We filmed with a uh, action director and scriptwriter. And oh wow, that's really wow. cool. Yeah. So he's like in it. And yeah, like Ryan's in it. Acting yeah. it. Yeah. Aww. He practiced the uh, sword uh, action scenes too with oh. the uh, coach. Oh, yeah. Cool. When it's gonna be launched? It's going to be launching in a few months. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, during the summer. Do that. Yeah. But yeah, all this experience, yeah, I think, you know, that's something Ryan expands his uh, in a point of view and yeah. it, and uh, it's really helping him. Mm -hmm. His best friend now is a Japanese. Oh, wow. Yeah, from school. That's yeah. Wow. That that's is why. cool. Met yeah. in Hawaii? Yeah, or? met in Hawaii. Nice. Nice. That makes me feel better because I, I really would hate to raise our kids in a place where they don't get to experience their mm. culture. Mm -hmm. So that, that is nice that there are a lot of Japanese in Hawaii too. Yeah, because uh, one experience we had with Ryan, uh, when Ryan started going to kindergarten mm -hmm. in Houston, uh, we always pack him seaweed, uh, mm -hmm. Korean seaweed yeah. Yeah. as a snack. Um, and I, I guess he got made fun about school bringing that because people really? are not familiar with the seaweed. Okay. Oh. Uh, so like, oh, why is that? Why is it black? And uh, mm. it tastes funny. It smells funny. And then he stopped bringing it. And he started mm. asking us to bring him just peanut butter and sandwich. Oh. Um, so when we went to Hawaii, they actually respect these the food culture too. Yeah. And I don't want that to be lost mm -hmm. because Ryan doesn't want to be made fun of. So. Yeah. Um, that's why. That's another reason why I thought it was good that we moved to Hawaii. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we can 
make sure Ryan feel comfortable with his own culture too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I experienced the same thing in high school. I brought my bento right, box right. when I first moved to US, mm -hmm. and nobody really recognized. Like everybody right. thought it was weird that sure. I have like rice and other mm -hmm. stuff in it, and we have furikake. Yeah, and American people don't know furikake. Do you know furikake? I don't think it's so. rice seasoning. Oh, okay. But it kind of add colors to the uh, rice, mm -hmm. and people thought it was weird. And huh. After that, I started start eating pizza. <laughs> so right now, you guys live in New York, right? Uh, uh, Albany. Oh, we sorry, we, we don't really live anywhere. Yeah, we oh, okay. You guys kind of <laughs> <We're> traveling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of families actually do too, like uh, yeah. do the travels yeah. with the kid. Yeah. Have you guys thought about it? Like not have to stay in the one location, but like travel around yeah. the world yeah. with the kid. We want to get a RV, RV yeah. and oh. travel through the yeah. states. Base right now is Florida. Uh, we want to have like three different like locations, Airbnb. like Florida, Arizona, yeah, Sedona, Sedona, uh -huh. and Hawaii. Possibly New York City. Yeah. LA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Yeah. And Japan, so six. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Probably, probably a lot more as time goes on, but we have our stuff in a storage unit in yeah, Florida yeah. right now. So we I have see. to go back there. <laughs> yeah, at grab some, stuff. At yeah. some point, we have to go back there. But I really did love Florida, though. It, yeah. It's so. It's very similar to Hawaii, actually. Uh -huh. It's just like so relaxing and oh, nature, yeah. and yeah, I loved it. I'm very like um, iffy on like sending our kids to like a public school. Oh, okay. I, uh -huh. I would like them to be homeschooled. Uh huh. Um, the only problem with that is like not being able to interact with other kids. So we would have yeah. to put them in like extracurriculars or some type of sport, you know, put them in dance or something like how I did. Actually, uh, the ho lo lots of homeschool programs, they offer the uh, kind of group session mm -hmm. like once a week. So you, yeah, yeah, so you teach yeah. kids on your own uh, for the rest of the day, yeah. so the rest of the week, and then one day in a week, some other homeschool students, um, they all come together and then do some activities together. So they kind of okay. learn the okay. social uh, aspect of it yeah. too. That's good to know. Yeah. yeah, I have heard of that. I'd have to look into that a little bit. Yeah, that's probably what yeah. the route that we would go on. Yeah. So you guys feel like you guys ready for the um, the next chapter? Maybe. Uh, uh, expanding your family? I Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight. Yeah, I don't need the time. I don't know the timing. <laughs> it's weird because like in the beginning of this year, like I was really like, like okay, I'll have kids when I'm like 30. Mm -hmm. But like as time is going on, I'm kind of like, more willing and ready, yeah. if that makes sense. So, I want like eight kids. Oh wow, you want a big uh, family? And I want like two. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got to meet in the, in the middle ground. <laughs> you are not the one carrying the child. <laughs> True. I agree. Um, because like I, when I, when I first came here, I uh, grew up with big family. Oh, okay. They, they yeah. had like, eight kids and <laughs> because I was in that environment, I was like, wow. It's so nice to have a lot of kids and live in countryside, do farm or something. I just can't picture myself pregnant for like <laughs> 10 years of my life. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Yeah. You, want, you want two and I want eight? What's the, what's the middle point? I just want like a girl and a boy. I just want to yeah. be. Gotcha, yeah. And it's then, really fun to have both, yeah. really. It's mm -hmm. so different. Yeah. And then like once I have both, uh -huh. I can make the decision if I want more because I'm sure being pregnant is really hard. <laughs> the interesting thing is like you like once you have a kid and you feel like oh my god this is exhausting this is it's hard right <laughs> but then after a year or two years later you forget about the, those like, hard times <laughs> and you want to have one more you know kid. Yeah. yeah. I think it's maybe it's a biological thing. Maybe. Just, uh, yeah. The brain wants you to forget all those uh, yeah. the, the hard memories, so you you want to have a kid again, and again, and again. And then uh, you create those yeah. hard memories again, and then you're just like, oh, oh, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I waited a little bit. <laughs> but you know, another thing that it's fun to do the video is uh, it's also an album too, the family album. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's you know, forever to look back. Exactly. And mm. then Ryan's now he's preteen, and you know, every now and then I watch his old video where he's mm. like a four years old and I, I, every now and then I miss that the, that Ryan too yeah. yeah he's so excited on just everything around him I mean he is still but he's a little bit more mature and yeah he start acting like a teenager yeah so <laughs> it's just so uh, every now and then I miss that little <laughs> small small Ryan every time I go on the YouTube and even watch it I feel yeah. like I just kind of go back to that moment yeah what's really cool is that like my dad like during Christmas time or birthdays or anything like that he always filmed us 
oh, like okay. just to have like an yeah. album. So it's my mom, and my dad too. He was always filming. YouTube just didn't exist <laughs> back then. <laughs> I wonder that's why you guys are so interested in doing Maybe. YouTube. Maybe. Maybe because of that childhood memory. Probably. That you guys have. Uh -huh. Probably. My grandpa always, always took pictures, and he took so long to take just one picture, and I did it. But now, you know, I appreciate yeah. it because that DNA, you know, mm -hmm. carried on me. Yeah. And here we are. So I have a quick question. Uh, when you guys uh, go to Japan together and meet your uh, fam family, what's it like? Because uh, you know, I'm going to bring my wife <laughs> for the first time to my side of family in Japan. Oh, she hasn't met yet. No, not yet. Well, well, my parents are there, and she has met my parents, but okay. not my grandparents, okay. and oh, okay. nobody. <laughs> so I, I actually already introduced my wife to my aunt and uncle. And uh, even that time too, I try not to go to the restroom as much as possible. Because I was the only person <laughs> who carried the uh, conversation and translated. I don't Lisa. care. I, I oh, you really? He lived too? He went to I the always. dentist. Like, that I was always. just there oh with my gosh. his mom. And his mom, wanted, his mom wanted to wash my clothes. And uh -huh. I couldn't understand what she was saying. And she had, like, she didn't use Google Translate. She bought, like, this uh -huh. translator device. Oh, uh -huh. And she was talking to me through that. And she was saying that she wanted to wash my clothes. And I was like, no, it's okay. Because, uh -huh. like, I only had, like, two pants uh -huh. left to wash. And, yeah. But she wanted to test my clothes because it was a new washing machine. <laughs> oh, I see. So it was just, like, so funny. And you were literally at the dentist. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I can't really communicate that well. <laughs> Wow, but you managed it yeah. well then. Yeah, I, I mean, I love his family, yeah. but um, your grandpa always wants me to speak Japanese, yeah. and I can only say like a couple sentences, and then he's, <laughs> he's looking at me like really excited, oh, and, that's I feel, good. and then I feel pressured, and I'm like, I don't know anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Just here and here, and that's it. <laughs> the person I love the most is uh, actually my grandmother, and uh, I grew up with my grandma when I was a little, so. I'm super excited to introduce my wife to, yeah. to her. Yeah. It's gonna be fun experience. I always leave her alone because I almost like. <laughs> so it was intentional. Like, yeah, I want her to challenge the like environment uh -huh. without not really be able to communicate because even like without communication, without verbal exchange, you you can't feel yeah. the energy. energy. You can feel the vibe, and you yeah. can like you can use the gesture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And there is a relationship that you can build with my. Uh, parents, family without me, mm -hmm. so that's why like I leave yeah. you alone sometimes. <laughs> I remember your mom, she like offered me something, mm -hmm. either food or something, and I didn't, I, this is when I really didn't know like any Japanese at all, and I was just learning, and to say no, I go, does, oh, does, oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> that's conflicting. <laughs> <laughs> But now I know it's Daijubu, but yeah. I didn't know that at first. Yeah. I was like, no, so I'm shaking yeah, my if head, I, no. If I'm always there, then like I will probably communicate to her and she would never um, get out of the comfort zone to commu try to communicate. Mm -hmm. and uh -huh. Maybe... Alright, good okay. advice. Yeah. yeah. I I'll go to the dentist too. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. my wife off. And he, has, he has like so many Japanese friends uh -huh. that I'm just like, I don't interact with them like when they're together sometimes because yeah, yeah, they're just so, speaking Japanese. Yes, yes, that's another thing I'm worried so, like, about too. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I am a little bit uncomfortable. I think in the beginning I was a bit yeah. more uncomfortable with it because I was like, what are they saying? But yeah. now, like, I don't necessarily know Japanese, but I can kind of tell what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, like, that's good. Even just like before we shot the video, like I kind of understood what yeah. you were talking about a little bit because you use some English words too. Yeah. It just gets easier as time goes on, but it does make me want to know Japanese more. <laughs> yeah. It's good. You, you and my wife can uh, learn Japanese yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. that would be fun. That could be a video. <laughs> <laughs> be, yeah, that would be a good video. Yeah, that would be a good video. <laughs> His top video is just of me speaking Japanese. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Really? Just for studying Japanese for 15 minutes, that's the number one. Yeah. Well, then you're going to keep okay. going then. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't even intentional. It was just like he filmed me and that oh, was yeah. it. And like I, I was just naturally studying Japanese. Uh -huh. It wasn't even like. Let's film, film and do yeah. it. It was just I was there, and I was very frustrated in the video. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. When do you guys come to Hawaii next time together? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime after Japan. Oh yeah, you guys going to Japan? Yes, right? soon. Really? Yeah. Less than a month. Yeah. July. Like two I'm, weeks. We're going there in July too. What? Really? Yeah. When? Uh, July twenty. We'll be there. Yeah. We're gonna we'll be, be there, there for three months. Yeah. 
Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're gonna be there for like, two, three weeks. Oh wow! Just wow. Nice. me and my wife. Yeah. You guys just stay in the Kansai area. And Tokyo, Tokyo. we're gonna travel around, yeah. and oh, we're gonna okay. also visit Okinawa oh, and nice. Hokkaido too. Oh, we'll be in Hokkaido. What? For a week. Oh, oh wow. yeah. Yeah. Wanna, <laughs> maybe wanna, that's where we should be yeah. next together. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should get together in Ho yeah. Hokkaido. Yeah. Because uh, you know, another place that I fall in love with was mm -hmm. uh, besides Hawaii was Hokkaido. Wow. Because uh, the food, especially the vegetables, tastes so different. Yeah. And Loanne was shocked, like how like each vegetable have a flavor, mm -hmm. and it's not something like common in in the US, especially like fruits. Yeah, and it's it's not they... really sweet in here, and, and even the regular vegetables too. It doesn't have much flavor, but mm -hmm. when you eat the vegetables in Hokkaido, it's very flavorful. Are you they grown right there? Mm -hmm. That's probably why. Yeah, Hokkaido is big for very the farming, fresh. and um, yeah. they they also have a big uh, rice field and big ski resorts too. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going there to to see if we can purchase any house or property so we can oh, kind of nice. have a Hokkaido as a second base. Yeah. So there's some city in Hokkaido they mainly speak English. Wow. It's oh. like a foreign country in, wow. in Japan. Yeah. It's called Niseko. Niseko. Oh. You guys probably have heard Niseko. it. It's the uh, one of the biggest uh, ski resort yeah. in Hokkaido. Okay. That's why I thought maybe Hokkaido would be nice for our family. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times when we go to Japan and it's a little bit uncomfortable for kids because they don't really able to communicate with yeah. the other people, mm -hmm. and uh, there's some rules. But then in Niseko or or even Tomamu in Hokkaido. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They all speak English. We'll be only be there during the summer because she doesn't like the cold. Oh no! <laughs> but you grew up here! <laughs> it's cold in you! No? That's why I don't like it. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Is no it? ski trip then, huh? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta try. Yeah. I do wanna go where the monkeys are with yes. the snow. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's uh, Nagano, right? Yeah. I think that's yeah. yeah. My wife said that same thing too. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we all should go trip together. Yeah, yes. that's that's fun. Fun. yeah. yeah. All right. And you can ask my wife some advice too. I'm oh, sure yeah. she has a really great advice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Next video will be in Japan with them. We travel together. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, our channel name is Ryan's World. A kids entertainment show and we always post a fun and, and uh, enriching content. So yep. yeah, please check it out. And you guys just started posting animation, right? Yeah, we started working on animation actually four or five years ago. Oh, so, really? Yeah, so we constantly do producing okay. animation and now since two years ago, I started working with the studio, animation studio in Japan. Okay. So a lot of anime that we create is yeah. Japanese anime That's style. Really wow. cool. so yeah. I just wrote a book and I was thinking about making that book has an animation uh -huh. and create an anime yeah. and post on YouTube. Uh -huh. And I was thinking about it and I saw you already doing it. I was <laughs> like, wow, there's so much ahead of me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That'll be a next step for you then. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. リンク貼ってあるのでぜひねチェックしてみてください。え、本当に来ていただきありがとうございます。めちゃめちゃいい会話ができました。楽しかったです。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。お、こんにちは。ありがとうございます。次の動画